Well, if you look at where agriculture has been found, it's been found, again, in some of the insects and, and in some vertebrates. And here you've got this group of slime molds or social amoebas that is ancestral to sort of fungi and vertebrates and sort of everything. And so it's way out there on the evolutionary tree. And so the fact that we find um, agriculture in, in such, a, such a basal group of organisms was quite interesting. Um, you, I mean, until this paper came out, I don't think anyone would thought we would see farming in amoebas. But I think what makes this paper interesting, it was sort of a novel discovery of farming. No one expected it to be there. Um, these slime molds feed on bacteria, um, and they, they inhabit a local area, and they eat all the bacteria, and when they, when they eat it all down, they sort of cooperate to, to, to form a fruiting body um, that then sends spores off so they can repopulate new areas and find new food. What the authors of this paper discovered was that, was that some of the, some of the individuals in these populations actually have bacteria. Um, they carry them with them. And so it looks like they will use the bacteria that they carry to inoculate a new area um, where they land and then basically feed off the bacteria. And they don't eat it all down as they would for natural bacteria. They, they eat it down sort of part way and then will decide to move on and carry it with them to the next, to the next place. If you think about the species um, outside, well including humans, but if you think about other species that, that, that farm, um, they're often highly social species. Um, a lot of the ants, um, leafcutter ants, live in some of the biggest societies, the largest societies of any species. And so they basically suggest that there could be a relationship between sociality and cooperation and agriculture. And so if you think about that in humans, some of our societies, when we, you know, when we developed agriculture, the societies took off and grew um, and, and were able to be more cooperative and more social. So there could be a link evolutionary between you know, farming and agriculture complex social societies and so it'll be interesting to follow that up and that sort of makes a prediction that in other invertebrates um, that, that are cooperative and that live, in, that live in societies we should go look for evidence of farming in some of those species and in other lineages on the evolutionary tree.